We distinguish between superiority and non-inferiority clinical trials and interpreted clinical and surrogate endpoints in non-inferiority trials. Now, given a non-inferiority clinical trial, let's evaluate its internal validity. So when it comes to internal validity, basically you will ask the same questions as the as you would uh, when you uh, evaluate the internal validity of superiority study. So the first nine questions are actually the same nine questions that you would ask and evaluate for a superiority uh, studies. Now something that's specific to non-inferiority uh, studies is, uh, you know, were patients analyzed in the groups to which uh, they were randomized? So when it comes to non-inferiority studies, it's actually extremely important to have both per protocol analysis and intention to treat analysis. Uh, so, you know, uh, as I had mentioned previously that, you know, generally in superiority studies, you really want to have an intention to treat analysis. And there are some exceptions, you know, like, for example, if you were looking for toxicity of a drug, you really want to have per protocol analysis. Um, however, when it comes to non-inferiority studies, if, if you get both per protocol and intention to treat analysis and both are in agreement, uh, they actually uh, make a stronger case for non-inferiority. So, you know, not to say that, you know, if they only included one, uh, you know, you cannot claim non-inferiority, but uh, when you do journal clubs on non-inferiority, you should, uh, you know, look for both per protocol and intention to treat. And then the other question that you should ask is, did the investigators guard against uh, an unwarranted conclusion for non-inferiority? So because we're looking, you know, we're looking at, at how much w worse uh, your intervention can do, you really want your control group to receive uh, the best treatment. So if, if, the patient, if the control group receives suboptimal, uh, receive suboptimal treatment, then it becomes easier to achieve non-inferiority. So, you know, suboptimal, it could be, uh, you know, whether the patients are not adherent, um, or, you know, based on enrollment, uh, you can have patients that are less likely to have uh, the outcomes. So that's really important to assess in non-inferiority studies. The other thing that's important uh, is uh, to actually compare the event rates in the control group compared to studies that have been uh, done in the past. So if the number of events is actually less in the new study, it's, it's a lot easier to achieve non-inferiority and you should question whether this is due to differences in patient populations or, you know, there was something specific about the study leading to less events in the control group, which makes the intervention group be easier to uh, show non-inferiority to the control group.